Hey, what's going on YouTube? I have a, I don't know how long this video is going to be, so I'm going to just say a video for you guys. Basically, it's how to set up and use an external hard drive for your Wii U. Now, the type of hard drive I bought is this. It's the Seagate DeskJet um, GoFlex uh, Free Agent USB 2.0 Plug and Play. It's one terabyte. And so, when you connect your external hard drive, when I also read online on the help for um, the support for Ninten for the Nintendo site for the Wii U, is that they suggest you use this type of hard drive, a freestanding one that has its own power source. So basically, that's what I got. Because I tried to use a regular external hard drive, and that was a... Uh, I want a Carnivo or whatever, the Toshiba. That was a 1.5 terabyte, the one that would actually use the Wii U's power, and it was not working. So let's go ahead and click this. We're going to go ahead and format. And that way, you guys can see from jump how this works. And now the Wii U is going to start up. Now I'm going to see if this actually works to a point where I can actually go in and move all my saves and stuff over to the external hard drive. When I tried this with a flash drive, I have a 64 gigabyte flash drive. That did not work. It kept um, freezing the system to a point where I had to actually unplug the system and plug it back in. So uh, let me go ahead in here. And then what you're going to want to do is click settings. And then what you're going to want to do is scroll over to data management. And we're going to say, it just formatted, so let's go ahead and say move data. And here, as you see, I hope it focuses. Come on. There's 931 gigabytes free. So what I want to do is go to the system memory. And you see these items here. So what I want to do is click on, I just clicked on one, and click transfer all and see what happens and pray that it does not, okay, let's see, please work, <gasps> it's working, yes, so yeah, because the last time I tried this when I had a flash drive, it I got the black screen, I call it the black screen of death, and then I had to unplug the system, so the um, flash drive does not work for this. And then when it went to boot, it would not work. So then I tried the Toshiba Carn Carnivo, Carnivo, whatever, external hard drive. And that's actually a 1.5 terabyte. And that didn't work. And then you click here to transfer all, either just hit X. So then I went ahead and got this. You know, I spent a lot of money on memory and flash drives and USB drives and stuff just so I can have that so I can have for my Wii U because what I want to do is uh, start downloading games and at this point I've not downloaded any games because I don't want it stored on my system memory so and then what I'm gonna do is go back to the main menu and boot up something and that way you'll see how it works Right now it's moving, I think, Netflix. And as you see that one, I'm sorry for the shakiness. I'm holding this free-handed. As you see, this is all you see on the screen. Focus. So, yeah. So. Now let's go to the YouTube and transfer all of that.
So yeah, I want to download games to the uh, external hard drive. And I mean, I mean, I guess people have personal preferences as of to what they like to use. Me personally, I have Seagate. I trust Seagate. I've never had a problem with Seagate. So, I mean, I have a 500 gig connected to my laptop. And here we see 931 gigs free. And then system memory is still 25 gigs. So let's back out of here. So we're going to get back to the main screen. Oh, and once again, thank you guys again for suggesting um, where to go to find a screen protector. It's working great. Uh, I have no problems at all. So as you see, I've moved everything to the external hard drive, but they're still here. So let's see if I just boot YouTube, for instance. Let's see what happens. Wow, they have an update already? Well, I guess that's a good thing. So yeah, you can see that on the TV, so... So now it is doing this little software update. And I do apologize for the wait, guys. I did not know it was going to do a software update so quickly. I don't want to just start the software because then it's going to do it again. So... After this is done, it'll boot up YouTube. Let's see if it boots fluidly. And then after that, we'll know that it's it's really working. Because when I tried to boot from using flash drive, it did the same thing. It gave me the black screen of death where I had to um, go in and... Oh, look, I got a little Wii U logo on the side where I had to go in and uh, unplug, physically unplug the console and plug it back up, so. And just to show you guys, I do apologize, this is very unprofessional, but just to show you guys, the um, external hard drive is here. You probably can't really see that. So the Wii U is there, the external hard drive is there. Did you see the little light on both? And there we go. It's booted. So um, we have, it works. It works. I'm so glad that it works. All right, guys. Uh, if you have any further questions, comments, please leave them below. I will do my best to answer them. This is iPod One Reviewer. And you guys take, oh, well, well, well. Hold up. Let me show you this. So this is something that's new. It actually gives you information about the person's, um, I guess, channel. Oh, wow. That is really cool. I did not know. So I guess this is part of the update. So, yeah, I just so happened to look down. Anyway, um, yeah, so this has been a quick, well, I don't know about quick, it's almost 10 minutes. But, yeah, this has been the uh, update, well how to use the U external USB, I mean external hard drive for your Wii U. Alright guys, take care, be safe.